Don't let the blue screen of death get you down. I will show you how to fix this problem step by step. So let's begin. Now we need to click on advanced options, then click on troubleshoot. Now click on advanced options and at the last we need to click on command prompt. Now type chkdsk space slash f space slash r space c colon and hit enter. Now we need to wait for some time to complete the process. Type c colon then hit enter. Now type cd space c colon slash and hit enter to execute the command. Type in cd space windows and press enter. Then type cd space system32 and hit enter to execute the command. Now type cd space config and simply press enter to execute this command. Now execute this command type md space backup and simply hit enter. Now type copy space star dot star space backup and simply hit enter to execute the command. Now execute this command type md space backup one then hit enter. Now type copy star dot star backup one and simply hit enter to execute the command. Now type cd space regback and simply hit enter. Now type dir and hit enter. Now type copy space star dot star space dot dot and hit enter. Then type all and hit enter. Type in bootrec space slash fixmbr and hit enter to execute the command. Now type bootrec space slash fixboot and hit enter to execute. Type cd space c colon slash and hit enter. Now type cd space windows slash system32 slash config slash regback and hit enter to execute. Now type this command bcd edit space slash exports space c colon slash bcd backup then hit enter. Now type cd space c colon slash and hit enter. Now type this md space boot and hit enter. Now type cd space boot and simply hit enter. Now execute this command type md space bcd. Now type cd space c colon slash and simply hit enter. Now type attrib space c colon dash boot dash bcd space dash h space dash r space dash s and hit enter to execute. Type in ren c colon backslash boot backslash bcd bcd dot old and simply hit enter to execute this command. Type bootrec space slash rebuild bcd and hit enter now type exit and simply hit enter now click on continue it will restart your system so that's it guys your problem is solved and you are good to go